And to infinity. And beyond. Nice. Say happy Halloween. Happy Got it. Sit. Good morning. Oh. My. <laughs> I just had the shit scared out of me. My windshield wipers were on. Oh my gosh. I actually need to turn on and warm up my car. Fuck. That's incredible. There's frost on the windows. It is officially frosty. As far as the car is concerned, it is minus one out right now. It is actually getting cold. But happy Halloween, it is Halloween. I have been so off lately. I've been so down lately. I've been so not okay. There's been a lot of mental health struggles that I've dealt with. Ooh. My rear windshield wiper is like stuck. It's frosted down, oh my God. Tis the season to be freezing. I am gonna go to the gas station and put a tiny bit of gas in my car. And by a tiny bit, I literally mean a tiny bit. And then we're gonna take Miss Callie to the dog park. Yesterday was Monday and taking Callie to the dog park didn't happen. And taking her on a walk didn't happen. I just had so many things that I needed to get done. I needed to find pumpkins for the kids. I needed to get Halloween costume or Halloween treats, trick-or-treating treats for the kids, like that trick-or-treat. I had a lot of running around to do, so unfortunately she needed to spend most of her morning in her crate, which she was not happy about. This morning she took, oh my gosh, this dog is such a nightmare right now. And I'm literally just sitting here because I need to I need for my window to warm up, so I'm gonna chat for a second. But this morning, she, <laughs> fucking dog. I don't know how much I've talked about our fridge being broken, but our fridge is broken right now. So margarine is kind of something that we don't really use. Um, not right now anyway, now that our fridge is broken. So I have butter and I was using butter and this morning I put some butter on a piece of bread for Dara because that's what she wanted for breakfast. And I gave her that and <laughs> it was funny because I woke up this morning and we sh totally should have thought about this last night, but of course this is just how my brain works. I woke up this morning and I was like, hey, she's gonna be a witch. What would be really fun for her is if I painted her nails black. She loves it when I paint her nails and I think it would, be, it would have been really fun for her if I painted her nails black. Now, of course I thought about this in the morning before she's about to head off to school like an idiot painting her nails and I have a picture of her. I'll, I'll show it here. I have a picture of her trying to eat her bread off of her plate. She had me push it close to the edge of her plate and she's got her hands down like this. She's trying to, and she's just taking bites. It's the fucking cutest thing in the world. Uh, we spray painted her hair green because she is a witch. Got a couple really cute tattoos from the dollar store. Um, they had full on face tattoos. Like we could have put some stuff on her forehead and across and whatever, but she didn't want all that. We did a couple stars under here couple little um, cobwebs or sorry spiders spider um, spiders webs spider webs oh my god on the side that were purple and one of them had a little spider hanging down from it and then oh she had like a, a tattoo choker that had like a spider in the side two spiders on the side and a moon I think in the middle anyway it looks really cute she looks really cute and she's very excited Rowan is Buzz Lightyear this year I am so happy that I found that at Value Village um, there's a lot of stuff that I've done this month that I forgot to vlog, I forgot to film, I forgot to do anything about because I just, the stress level this month was insane. And I don't know why it is that I did that to myself. I don't know why I decided to say that I was going to vlog and film and edit and post every single day. Uh, I, I also made promises to do that in December and I really don't think it's going to happen. I think from now on we're going to do the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. We're going to get back to that and stay consistent in December. If I have anything extra happening, anything overly exciting happening, then I will maybe add an extra video in here and there. Um, but to promise a daily thing is just not going to happen for me right now. Uh, maybe in the future when I get my shit together <laughs> and I figure stuff out, my mental health got really low for a minute there. It was kind of scary, but I think I'm back. I think I'm feeling the other side right now. The kids are so excited. There we go. Now my windshield or my wiper is working. Um, the kids are so excited to be going uh, trick or treating tonight and to wear their Halloween costumes at school today. Um, yeah, they're 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 so excited. But anyways, I think my car's warm enough. I really don't need to waste, waste any gas, and I'm gonna go put some gas in the car, and I will talk to you when I get to the car. This is, this is actual snow. <laughs> I'm so cold. Cannot feel my fingers. Not sure how to move my mouth. 
and talk kind of cold. I am, <laughs> I haven't been this cold from being outside in a very long time. This is insane. Oh, I gotta warm up the car for a second. Oh, and also, did you just see that? Did you see the snow that was on the fucking table? That is insane, there's so much snow, that's so crazy. It's funny how the world works sometimes. So, when I got here, obviously there was somebody else here with their dog, which is really great for Callie. I'm so happy that she's given me opportunity to um, socialize with other dogs. I mean, that's why you bring them to a dog park, so they can do that. I really need my steering wheel to heat up so my hands can work. Like, my hands are cold. <laughs> like, they're red. That's how cold they are. I need to get myself some really good gloves or mittens or something. And I gotta get some boots. I gotta get winter gear for myself because I'm gonna have to keep bringing her out here. But I'm gonna need to not get frostbite when I do. Um, and that is not going to be the last of the snow. That snow that was on that picnic table. That's not where it ends. Anyways, let's get going home. It is, oh my gosh, it's noon. We were out here for a really long time. One thing that I do want to start today is I want to restart my sourdough journey. So I have, I've been able to rearrange my kitchen a little bit now that I've painted the walls. I was able to put some stuff into that cupboard that I got from uh, Marketplace for free, the one, the pantry thing. I love it. I absolutely love it. It fits my dishes exactly how I was hoping it would and it actually has more space in it. I thought that I was going to lose space because it only has two shelves where the cupboard that I have my dishes in right now has three shelves. And I honestly thought that I was going to have to rearrange and figure out how to put stuff in there differently. However, the two shelves that it does have are longer. It's, it's the little things. <laughs> You know, that I get excited about. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera away. I have a place to drop off some stuff and pick up some stuff real quick and then I will catch up with you when we get home. problem is the cooking spray that I currently have in my house has a very low smoke point and almost or did fill my house with smoke the last time I used it so, so unfortunately I didn't have any cooking oil and obviously this didn't really work out too well the first one came out practically laughing at me calling me a joke telling me that this is not gonna happen and I got a little sad but then I learned the techniques and I figured it out and I got some little uh, hamburger Stuffed ghosts. Fall apart. Hold on. Some nice, cheesy, delicious hamburger guts on the inside. And absolutely delicious. Let's try it. Also, side note, if you don't want to do the ghosts, I had a little bit of, or anything bolted like this, obviously. I had a little bit of extra dough left and some more hamburger left. And I basically just made like, ooh, that's hot. Oh, That's really hot. I basically just made the buns and stuffed them with hamburger. So this is like a pizza bucket, basically. The recipe linked, I made skulls. I didn't make ghosts. See, this one looks a little rough, but it's pretty good. Uh, last time I made these, I made skulls. I could not find my skull pan. So I made ghosts. I, I think ghosts are pretty, skulls. I think ghosts are pretty haunty looking. And then, yeah, if you don't have a pan, you don't want to really make them seasonal. Just make some stuffed buns. Why not? Time to get ready to go trick or treating and eat. Eat this dinner and then go trick or treating. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
else you want. It just makes me so happy. I got these two. We got Callie over there, comfy as all hell. I got this one up here, keeping an eye on everything. As much as I would wish, I would love to go out and, and watch Rowan's reaction to all the Halloween decorations and how excited they get when they get the candy they really love or when they see their friends when they're walking around or any of those kinds of things. I definitely want to be able to experience that. Being able to be home and watch all the kids come up and say trick or treat and show me their costumes and all of that, I love. I am watching uh, Family Guy episodes right now. I might throw in a Buffy one later, might throw on a fa uh, Modern Family, I don't know, might just, I couldn't decide on a movie to watch. I didn't want to watch anything too scary because I really do have a bunch of little kids coming around. So um, yeah, and I'm enjoying my last pumpkin spice, my last pumpkin spice cake, I believe, coffee, uh, my Nespresso. I'm enjoying that right now because we all know after October, on November 1st, pumpkin spice tastes like trash. So I might as well drink it now. So I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying the quiet of my house before the kids come home and make it really, really loud again. Um, my cats are fighting, which is hilarious. Um, Callie and, and Vanish were sitting on the table or sitting on the chair over there fighting earlier, which was really funny. Um, but I am loving this color behind me. I love my new paint color. It just makes me so happy. I hope you guys have a great Halloween or had a great Halloween. I hope you got lots of candy. I hope you didn't find any drugs in your candy. And if you did, I hope you didn't share. And we'll see you in November. <laughs> um, happy Halloween.